Hi, thanks for joining me for this week's quick business tip. Today, we're going to talk about what marketing really looks like. So we're going to demystify it a little and explore how marketing is able to transform your business. Because many small business owners just sort of have a vague idea of what marketing is, but knowing how to effectively implement it is what's really going to drive profitability for your business. So first, let's do a quick definition. Marketing encompasses a range of activities that can help you understand and really narrow down the target for your ideal audience. It also helps you pos position your brand effectively. And um, it's a series of compelling strategies to promote your products and services. It's not just about advertising or selling, it's about building relationships and creating that value for your customers. So one of the first steps in marketing is understanding your target audience. And I talk about this all of the time, but it goes into more than just demographics. It's about identifying their needs, wants, pain points, and allows you to tailor your messaging and the services that you offer to meet their specific demands and the specific problem that they are trying to solve. Um, and using that very targeted um, niche, you can analyze customer data better, engage with your audience more authentically, and create surveys and feedback loops that will give you powerful insights um, and help you market your products better for the audience that you are trying to connect with. So once you have an idea of who your target audience is, um, it's really important to develop a compelling message. And a lot of times people will describe this as your unique value proposition. So it is a statement that highlights the benefits of your business, the services or products that you offer and tells your clients um, or your prospects um, what sets you apart from your competitors. This message should clearly communicate why your customers should choose your services and how you solve their specific problem. So that's why your first step is the target market, and then you're able to customize a message that is specific for them. Um, so now that you understand who your target market is, and what your very specific message is going to be, uh, you are better able to choose the proper marketing channels of where that audience is already spending their time so that you are then spending your time and money more effectively. So digital channels like social media, email marketing, and other kinds of content creation, whether that is print or digital, um, that is going to be the key to aligning with your audience preferences. So you don't want to try to get your audience to come to you. What you want to do is figure out where your audience is already spending their time and then bring your message to them. So as with all things, being strong and consistent is what's going to get you the win in your marketing. And doing that for your brand is one of the biggest keys to your success. So your brand closet is going to be the personality, the values, the reputation, in addition to colors and imagery and um, the phrasing that you use. And being consistent in that messaging um, through all of your marketing, whether that's email, social media, LinkedIn, um, wherever your clients are seeing you, that consistency, um, both visually and through the phrasing that you're using is what's going to help you build trust and recognition with your leads and prospects. You wanna create a brand that is gonna resonate with the audience that you most want to serve and bring out those uh, positive emotions and perceptions from them. 
So now that you understand a little bit about the building blocks of marketing, um, we need to talk about an effective marketing strategy. The strategy is going to depend greatly on your business goals, your budget, your target market, um, but it's also going to include things that I refer to as tactics like search engine optimization, paid advertising, influencer partnerships, and referral programs. Um, so by considering the entire scope of all of the tools and tactics that are available to you and picking and choosing the avenues that best serve your brand and your target market, you can create a strategy um, that really allows your business to grow and scale. And it is so critical when we are talking about marketing to track and measure all of your marketing efforts. Um, so you want to know everything that you're doing and how it is performing so that you are then able to take what is performing well and pour more time and money into that so that you can get an even greater return on your investment out of that particular portion of your strategy. You're also then able to see where you might be struggling, what stages of your strategy are struggling, and pivot and make changes uh, so that you can increase the effectiveness of every stage of your marketing strategy. But you can only do this if you are actually tracking the metrics. You cannot do this by like your gut feeling of you know how you think things are going. You have to have numbers. And I am, I am not a numbers person. Math is not my strong suit, but this is the one time where you actually have to have numbers written down on a sheet of paper or in an Excel spreadsheet um, that you are looking at. I always suggest doing it on a weekly basis so that you are seeing problems before they become major problems, and then you are able to fix them along the way. So there you have it. That is the very, very short version of what marketing is and how you can effectively use it to grow your business. Um, it's not a one-time activity. This is an ongoing process. And with all of the changes to logarithms and uh, social media platforms, it does require continuous learning and adaptation and refinement, but that is why I encourage the tracking on a weekly basis so that you are better able to understand your audience, craft a strong marketing message, and select the right avenues and the right tactics to, that is going to resonate with your ideal client. Um, Stay consistent with all of your marketing, your messaging, and your strategies, and you will be well on your way to growing your business and achieving your long-term success. Thank you for joining me for this week's quick business tip. If you would like to have a more thorough conversation on a one-on-one -on -one basis, I would love to connect with you on Zoom. Just use the link below and um, come back next week for more business tips. I'm Jennifer with Limitless Impact Agency.